We are looking into, you know, what exactly we're doing for cars, repair costs, how to set everything up, you know, make sure we're not wasting money on the repairs, all of that. Um, do the best to try to get your vehicles repaired when you can, but I know it's kind of a mess at the moment. Uh, just make sure we're staying on top of any announcements that come out, making sure we're reading them and marking them as red so we can see that everybody has been notified of anything that comes out. We did hire three new officers. We had Officer oh. Hartog, Officer Ruby York, and Officer Duncan Fenwell were brought in last night, so be looking out for them as well. And if they need anything to get started out, please uh, help them as best you can. Anybody else have anything they want to bring up? Uh, yeah, I got something. I have something too. Okay, go for it. Uh, well, uh, I was at Mosley's earlier, and uh, there's a report about it. Uh, captain's aware of the situation. It's going to be report number 84. Uh, long story short, without having to read everything, uh, two, two, two group six workers are getting their car repaired next to me. Uh, some random mechanic started just waxing their car without asking. They didn't want the wax, and then they tried to force them to pay fifty dollars. Uh, I warned the mechanics as well as the manager that if, if we get more complaints about that shit, it'll be fraud applied. And Captain Ruth agreed with the charge. So just be aware; they've already been warned. Uh, don't be surprised you get more complaints. Which, uh, which manager was it? Was it the Australian? Was it the Australian uh, manager Dahlia? I think Dahlia. The manager, yeah, yeah, but, but here's the thing as well. And so you cut you off is it's not, it seemed like it was only one group that's doing this. It seemed like the whole entire shop is all on this as far as trying to maximize yeah. the amount of profit they can when they see a customer. Instead of seeing them as somebody who's trying to help, they see them as some sort of you know cash cow they can get someone out of 100%. I mean, I, 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 like I said, the, the most blatant, it, it was like the most blatant like situational fraud I've witnessed so far. It was forcing a wax on their car when they didn't want it, then trying to force them to pay $50. It was very blatant. No, that's all. Just be aware. They've already been warned as well. So don't take a light on them if they do it again. Sounds good. Thank you. Good work. I got a little note to bring up uh, in regards to the ongoing uh, 31 Bravos. Oh, so yeah. I've got something about that too. So after the first one I spotted, when I spoke to Mr. Mr. Toy Ron, he said he only oh, took sorry, about... Sorry. Oh, my. Missed? I think. It's tough. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to keep he, uh... you on your toes. <laughs> he only took about $5 off uh, the lady that he robbed. After speaking with another arrest that I had in regards to a robbery of Mr. Cray Tor, uh, he said he had only taken a couple of dollars as well. You mean the, third... you're talking about the local robberies, the local yes. robberies? Yeah. yeah, so, and then I spoke to a third person who said the same thing, very low amounts of cash. So that's why we're seeing, I think, non-stop, consistent I don't robberies confliction. in the same area. Because the only way yeah. these fellas uh, are making any kind of money is because they have to consistently and repetitively rob to actually make a living. Yeah. So, yeah. so, the, so I think Welcome the best to way to respond, life. considering they have to consistently do this, is... Have about have your two units. The the robbery will take place in an area, and then what's happening is they'll usually drive one to two blocks, or they'll walk. They'll rob someone again, and it'll pop up again. So be in the area. I think when that first one pops off, then you'll, that second ping. I say ninety nine percent. That second ping will pop off, and you're already in the area, ready to respond. Now there's a different things happen in Vespucci, where we're not getting a, a car called in, which makes me think that. These fellas are now walking around on foot, not getting into a vehicle until they have to. Because if we get a if we get a vehicle, that's a lot of more that's a lot more RS as opposed to just some fella walking. I can we'll add keep... to that. Go ahead. Um, so I came on duty and there was a lot popping off. Not many people were responding to them. I responded to most of them. Uh, the two things that I kept seeing reoccur with the ones going on in the last shift was a Glendale and a BMX. Those was the two things that kept popping up as the vehicle being used. Um, I did actually find someone on scene of two of them, uh, Mama 
think her last name is Jemmy. Um, I didn't see her near any of the. Let's see what other the music I got that could fit them. with Brian. Um, with this like new still thing. Still within the area. Let me see. So I've spoke to her um, about it, and I've told her that now that I've seen it, I've documented it, and uh, she also gave consent me to search sessions. So I know that she had $109 on her just in case because I hadn't actually seen any of the locals. But I think they're actually using BMXs and potentially going on foot now more than ever because they know they can get away with it if they're uh, third of Yeah, because away. whenever they enter a vehicle at times, she as well, the locals will pour a plate and make a model to dispatch. Mm -hmm. So that's how we caught one of the people who was involved, Ortiz. And the, um, they, they were doing actually goober while doing it at the same time. They're dropping folks off and then mugging them afterwards. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I popped all my details in the report. It's uh, report 82, and I've uh, highlighted a lot of the sections and then all the dispatch calls that I was getting in, involved in the BMX. I didn't do the Glendale because I didn't get a chance to respond to the Glendale ones because the BMX ones were just flooding the system. I had like six on forum, then she moved to uh, Fudge Lane, and then she moved to Caesar's Place. So, like, are they actually robbing that many people that it's like the back to back? Yes, to back, to back, I, uh, back? I walked on Forum should... Drive and I saw around five locals with hands up. <laughs> Good God. Uh, I, I, oh I, that no ballsy. joke. That no joke. When, when, I, when I arrested Krator uh, last night, I think we, were, we had a meeting um, and there was about, I think, 10 to 12 31 Bravos uh, up there in Vinewood, all consistently him, all the same car called out. <laughs> I, I They're just like, chain, yeah. chain robbing people. You you telling me that they're picking up their clients in a goober cart, dropping them off somewhere, and robbing them? Mm -hmm. Yes. Is that happened. not gonna affect their like star rating? I told him that um it is gonna affect his star rating, and he's probably gonna, probably gonna get fired. A lot I, of these I folks. I feel like it'd be easy to identify them then. Just like, hey, who who picked you? Who'd you drive with? Who'd you drive with? Mm -hmm. I mean, like their story is bullshit because they're telling us a certain place when we had our Glendale being spotted at the beach robbing somebody. So as far as that, be on the lookout for that. Make sure that we're on top of it. Like I said, there's going to be a lot of just working together. And it's, it's, it's kind of hard to prove in court of law too as well. Your um, probable cause will be a bit difficult if you don't get a lot of information, especially if they leave on a BMX bike or on foot. Because if you don't get more, it's kind of hard to know who was the aggressor. And then our victims are usually locals that run off. So they're hard to talk to. Yeah, I feel like we've got to be directly on scene and see it at the most part. What I noticed with the uh, with the Fudge Lane ones, the locals get scared of the very slightest little things. They got scared of me with a flashlight. Yeah, yeah. I feel like the locals are on a special kind of sauce. Uh, the the yeah. I, I say, did also. I, mean... oh, I just God. created a tag for Thirty One Bs. If you guys want to tag stuff, so we can kind of look into it and try to figure out any patterns and things. Also, I don't know if anybody else is having trouble, but I couldn't promote a report to an incident last night. Yeah, J Jimmy and I had that issue too. I think oh. I know why it is. Uh, the report numbers and incidents don't share the same number system. So the reports have their own actual incident, like report number, and then the incidents are in a different section. So if you are to pull in, say, report 81 into incidents, we already have incident 81. So it would override. So I think that's the reason why we can't actually promote because it's blocking it from overriding. It's supposed to go to the next available incident. Right, they don't share ID. So if I take a report that is 86 and I turn it into incident, um, mm. you know, uh, whatever, it goes incident 144, right? It becomes a new incident in the ID number of the next one. I would uh, I would just flag that up then, Captain, yeah, because it ain't working. Right it ain't working. Okay, all right. Well, that's good to know. I'll take care of that. I just made a test one that's going to stay in there for a little bit just to make it easier for me to communicate. Why do I wear a zombie outside right now? All right. I think someone's breeding on the door. Oh. Okay. okay. All right. Oh, is uh, there anything else we window got? Window liquor, yeah, yeah. sir. I got, I got a couple more announcements. Also, Knight, take off your vest. Thank you. Oh, yes, sir. You know, as um, as, as a police department, as we grow day by day, as things progress, obviously the LSPD family grows larger as we add more folks. However, I still want us to all get to know each other pretty well and don't feel like strangers walking through the halls in Mishima PD. So. I've been organizing some events. The first one, Friday night or Friday uh, at Tsunami. We're going to be having a party. Um, Ooh. Uh, my apartment at Low Soul. Off duty, of course. Uh, Fuck this guy. <laughs> and we'll invite the some folks in there too. Well. I don't know. I got to figure out which apartment it is. So I got to figure out my Airbnb. Oh. But I'm going to run one out. B-O-E-B, already no problem. How big is your apartment? Yeah, yeah, uh, well, yeah. You're, you you boys are worried about the logistics mm. of it. Just yeah, bring your yeah, beer. Oh, yeah, yeah, just bring your own beer. We'll, we'll fit everybody, okay? 
Uh, and then I got a couple more plans as well as far as events for the PD. Things we could do off duty together, things that we can um, work on and get to know each other as far as a police department. Because I, I want know that what to I happen. Need to I want us to feel like we are connected, feel like, you know, we're brothers and sisters to each other. I want that to be the case. And if you have any ideas or things you want to bring up, talk to one of the captains. We're trying to organize something, okay? Hey, firm. All right. So maybe bring some food, maybe bring some beer. I don't know. Uh, we'll have a party on Friday, okay? Hell yeah, good. Sir. What time did you say again? There'll be more information on MDT. I'll, I'll um, get a look okay, announcement made for any off duty activity so you guys can join. All right. And uh, don't forget to welcome our new hires as well. You know, make sure that you talk to them, check up on them, see how they're doing, introduce yourself so they get to know each other. So on the scene, you guys uh, know who each other are and uh, can work with each other to make sure the right job is done. Oh, um, there is actually one more thing. I completely forgot about this. Mm -hmm. uh, so in the morning, in the AU hours, when I'm not on shift, I've been off duty working and I told uh, Captain Roof that I would uh, listen in to chatter with Group 6 to see what's going on with the robberies. Uh, one thing I've picked up on the past few days, if someone's been arrested for crime, uh, they will no longer be able to do uh, like Group 6 or grime. Uh, so that is probably the reason why uh, we're actually picking up on robberies because once the it's so funny how much Nino knows. Them. Is it any the, crime? Any, any crime? The great, any, so. It's a great thing about playing Nino because it's Someone like that's been arrested, Nino already knows everything but senior buns. Like, uh, wait, are you okay? Are you talking about felonies or? I think it might be felonies. I'm not sure what they've been arrested for. I just know that they've they've done some sort of crime and it's blocked them from doing civilian jobs. I was yeah, gonna so say we have very few people that have had felonies, so I'm just wondering if it's even traffic citations. No, no, no. It, it's definitely felony. So uh, okay. as far as when I talk to Group Six and uh, certain jobs around the city, as a civilian, you expect to keep a clean record. If you don't, and you continue down that path, they're not gonna accept you, and you won't work with them. I'd say the least it might be misdemeanors, um, but I I'm not too sure. I just know that if they if they've done some sort of crime, it it blocks them out from doing it. Oh, good. They should be thinking about their actions, especially if you're part of a group six. You're be carrying somebody else's cash. I don't want a felon carrying that shit. It should be somebody who I can trust yep. and has a clean background. All right. Anything else before we um, wrap up the meeting? Uh, yeah. I was gonna say with the ones that are happening on foot. Uh, I'm assuming we don't got no cameras in the armor yet. We don't. Um, like I said, uh, most of our budget funding right now is going toward yeah. PD repairs. I, yeah, so, that's what I was about yeah. to say. It's going towards all those fucking car repairs. Huh? Uh -huh. Each oh. car is costing roughly thirteen hundred dollars right now. Yeah. Also, sir, um, all our transmissions are shot. No matter how much we repair them, they're getting stuck in gear. Wait, wait, uh, wait, Arlo. I, I just paid uh, fifteen hundred dollars to repair yeah, my I have a, a perfectly repaired car that is still, you know, stuck in first gear. Yeah, yeah. It sounds wow. like you just like, lit like, fifteen hundred dollars on fire. Like I said, they're, they're, they only know how to swap parts. They, they're they're mm. still trying to figure out how to fix the whole, the you know? Yeah, yeah, the engine and transmission. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, listen. Um, if your crown vic is not effective, you got two feet. God bless you with those. You can always use those for the time being. Um, another thing that I realized, um, because obviously at first we didn't get our cameras for evidence. Uh, I decided to buy myself a PD camera today so I could take photos without using my phone. And uh, those cameras are defective. They do not work. I tried to use mine and I couldn't use it. Yeah, yeah think... we're going to need some uh, some tools to collect evidence and things. We just haven't got any of that in them yet. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we can get something like maybe uh, gloves and evidence as well, too. We can use to collect evidence yeah. easier. That way you guys don't have to worry about contamination. All right. Uh, Quick meeting. Thank you. Uh, Y'all dismissed. I'll see you out there.